Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara and I am here with your weekly forecast for the week of July 11th to the 17th. That's seven days. Okay, I did the math in my head. You could tell because I wasn't thinking. I wasn't uh, talking. Um, this week we are tapping into the energy of these really cool cards, the White Lion Leadership cards. These were created by Linda Tucker, who is a conservationist in South Africa, who is working, has been working tire tirelessly for decades to restore white lions to their endemic habitat and allow them to live in the wild in a natural way. So she has a whole con conservation area that she manages and she was um, really instrumental in reintroducing white lions into their native habitat and making it all work. And she works tirelessly on behalf of all lions everywhere um, and uh, what, what do I want to say, Up, updating, you know, the laws around uh, wild animals and lions in particular, and just um, making it a more just world for everybody. And at the same time, she has been teaching the 13 laws of lion, lion hearted leadership, and has a very strong spiritual anchoring in this work and connection with these animals who are considered to be the star, li star lions um, with important, um, important messages and important energy um, and teachings for all humans. So uh, she's really a pioneer. You can find out more about her and her work and these cards at whitelions.org. It's a really fantastic deck. All of the um, animals in there are white lions who are on the land there that she is um, a conservator of. And the cards themselves are created by a beautiful artist um, whose name I'm not sure about, but you can see that they're all photos of the white lions in their native habitat. And then some of them are enhanced. This is one of the Lion God cards that's enhanced with some artwork. Here's another Lion God's card enhanced with some artwork. But they, they're really, um, one of the things I like about these cards is they have the, the practical day-to-day -day wild biology, right? They're just lions, they're white lions, but they also have this, um, other level of the spiritual reality of the world as well. So there's the physical reality and the spiritual reality. So I'm going to pull one of these cards as just a little guide for our week, this week of July 11th to the 17th. So I'm just shuffling um, and tapping into that energy of this second week in July. And my thumb just really wanted this card that landed in front of me. So I'm going to pull this one. And this is the self-reliance card. So this is one of the cards that evokes the qualities of the lions. And this is the card that I um, am choosing for the week of July 11th to the 17th. Um, self-reliance. So what I what comes to me is when I was a whitewater rafting guide, and we were, you know, learning about safely navigating the rivers and uh, taking care of our people, but also taking care of ourselves. And um, to this day, when I go to the river with my kids, you know, we always say self-rescue is the first thing. And you have to be able to take care of yourself. And that's what this card means to me. Um, it's really about taking care of yourself, looking to yourself first and seeing how capable you are. I think, you know, what I'm sensing from the energy of this week is that this is a time to reflect on when we're automatically going to somebody else to do something for us. So how can we be more reliant on ourselves? How can we look to ourselves first as the leaders? Because these are the white lion leadership cards. And so the all of the messages are going to be somehow about leadership. So here's our opportunity to really recognize our self-reliance and how we can take care of ourselves. And when you think about the lion, they are very self-reliant, even though they live in their prides and they have a lot of community and cooperation. There's also a real independent spirit about them that they, each one takes care of itself. 
And so I think that this is, and I'm just gonna bring it up here so you can see it a little bit better and allow you a moment to tap into this card and the energy of the card. See if you get anything more or different from um, my intuitive sense of the card. So to me, this is really a time to reflect and acknowledge on our self-reliance and maybe watch ourselves to see if we are automatically looking to somebody else for help or leadership or to take care of something that we're actually capable of taking care of ourselves and really own our self-reliance, own our, our capability, own how capable we are of living our lives and not look to others to guide us, but look to ourselves and our inner guidance. And so I think that to me is the heart of it, of this card and the energy this week is how can we look to ourselves and our inner guide for the guidance rather than looking outside around us. So a great week to practice. Well, who am I? What do I want? And um, following on last week's um, forecast reading, a good time to really reflect on who am I? What do I want? Where am I going? Right? All self-directed, all inner directed, coming from inside, from the heart of who you are. So really, um, these are powerful cards, a powerful time, a good time to uh, for self-reflection, self-reliance, self-reflection, and really self-generation, you know, really being that leader in your life, looking to yourself for that inner guidance and stepping up and knowing that you're capable of doing that. So that's my reading for the week of July 11th to the 17th. If you got something else or something, you have something that you want to add to what I said, or you want to just uh, let me know how this week is playing out for you and how this card is influencing you. I would love to hear about it. Please put a note in the comments below. I love the conversations that we have down there, and I will look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week.